Hey, it's Nick Fenditis here from Royal LePage Performance in Ottawa, and this is Nick Answers Reddit. Uh, this is the, the question this week is about um, home inspections. And when requesting a home inspection, can a buyer ask for something unusual like pulling off a carpet to see what's underneath? This comes from user Robotic Tree uh, on the 29th of November, 2023. And as the subject line asks, uh, is that allowed, something like that allowed during a home inspection? So when putting in an offer, can the buyer add something like pull up a bit of carpet for inspection as required for part of the inspection? Additionally, can a buyer put other unusual requirements like, I mean, put in a funny green hat on the floor when vacating or must put googly eyes on the refrigerator, et cetera. Uh, I mean, those are a little bit out there, but it actually serves serves to illustrate the point uh, is that, yes, a, I mean, a buyer can ask anything and anything that a buyer and seller can agree to. I mean, within legal limits, uh, they can agree to. Uh, it is perfectly legal to, for example, include a dog in the you know, a dog in a purchase. So I, for example, I sold a farm a couple of years ago and the farm dogs were sold with a house. They wanted to live there. They had lived there all their lives and, and the buyer and seller agreed that that would be what was going to be best for the dogs. So, uh, that's what they did. Um, so for this one with the carpet, I mean, as long as the seller is okay with it, the, yeah, the, they can, the buyer can put in a clause about, uh, wanting to leave a bit of the carpet turned up. Uh, usually this is done to see whether the floors are hardwood or not. So, uh, as long as they can agree and, uh, then it can be done. However, it's never okay for a buyer or their agent or their inspector to go do something invasive, invasive during a home inspection that hasn't been approved. So one of the other comments uh, on Reddit here said about a buyer and their inspector who drilled a hole in the floor to look for something. I mean, if that happens, somebody's getting a fine or somebody's getting the, a bill to go fix that. If I'm, you know, if I'm the listing agent on the other side, and I think in most cases, uh, that would be very, very much frowned upon and probably result in some sort of disciplinary action. Um, but specifically to the, the carpet question, because this is something we get all the time, not to have it written into the agreement, but where somebody wants to know what's under the carpet. If the house has central heating, and I mean, the majority do in Canada, uh, it's generally pretty easy to lift up a corner or lift up a floor vent cover uh, during inspection and lift up a little bit of the carpet there without doing any damage. It's usually not glued down so, so well that it's uh, in every single you know, right to the edges of all the vent covers. Uh, and when you lift that up, that's going to tell you a couple things. So one, it's going to tell you what kind of flooring is under there. If it was built with carpet, it's probably just going to be particle board or something like that. But if it's an older house and carpet was laid over top of hardwood or parquet, you're going to see the hardwood or, or parquet there. And you're also going to be able to tell whether that hardwood has been refinished a lot and whether it has a lot of life left in it. So when hardwood is refinished, it usually takes, I don't know, like 16th or an eighth of an inch off each time it uh, is refinished. And so that little notch in the center of the hardwood that is centered when you install it, well, when things get shaved off, it looks like that notch is creeping towards the top end of the hardwood, but really what's happening is it's getting shaved down a little bit each time. If it's getting close to that notch, I mean, there's not much more refinishing you can do and you're kind of stuck with whatever condition it is without having to redo all the, the hardwood again. Uh, there's other, I mean, there's lots of other things you can do uh, like that. There's lots of other hacks that your realtor will probably have that if they're experienced to show you how you can tell the ages of certain systems and how to spot a lot of red flags before you ever have to go pay for an inspection. Uh, that's all. I hope you found this useful and send your questions here on YouTube or on Reddit. I, easy to find in either place and uh, or our website. And I'll look forward to helping you with them in the future.